Konnichiwa. Today, I am gonna answer some of your guys' questions! It's 2024, and I realized I haven't done like a get to know me video, so I'm like, get to know me! And I want to get to know you. So I'm so sorry because I am bare faced right now. But you know what? Let's have a cozy day together, you know? No makeup, in my pajama. Let's just have a nice, relaxing, cozy day together. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for the questions, by the way. I got so much more than I expected to get. So, okay. So the first one is Do you watch any K dramas or listen to any K pop? Okay. So I used to watch K dramas, okay? But they got me so hooked like it's dangerous to watch k-dramas <laughs> I will like watch k-dramas until like 4 a.m. And then I have school at like 9 a.m. So I'm like this is not good for me. So I like stop myself from watching k-dramas, but k-pop. Yes, I do listen to k-pop My favorite k-pop groups are blackpink and nct not to brag or anything But last year I went to go see nct dream and nct nation and then blackpink so yeah. What is your favorite Japanese food that you would recommend? Soba. Where do you get your outfits inspiration? Like Pinterest, etc. Because your is always so cute! Thank you so much! Um, I get my outfit inspiration from Pinterest or some Instagrammers and stuff like that. And I don't know, I just like look through and I'm like, oh my god, that's so cute! That's so cute! I want to wear that! What do you work as or study at school? Uh, I graduated university last March. I work full time now. I work at an IT company, so I just do a little bit of that, you know. But when I was in school, I majored in English communication. Even though that is not what I really wanted to do, I decided to take that path because Actually, I don't know why I decided to do the bath. I actually really wanted to go to a marine university. So I wanted to learn about marine biology because that was my main subject in high school. And I really loved all the experiments and the studies I did in high school. So I wanted to continue that in university. However, it is super expensive to go to a marine university. And even if I got a loan, I, it would take me forever to pay back. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So I decided to go take the English path. Kinda regret it, kinda don't at the same time. I don't know, I just have mixed feelings about it. Favorite place you've been to? I don't know if you mean like in Okinawa or just in general, but I would say Osaka! So I really, 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 really love Osaka. If you've been following me on Instagram or watch my YouTube videos, you guys probably know I am obsessed with Osaka. <laughs> I have this amazing friend. She actually introduced me to Osaka. Like she made me fall in love with Osaka, okay? Because of her, I got to meet so many amazing people and every time I go back to Osaka, I, I have to meet them. I have to. I'm not going back home until I see them. <laughs> I don't know. I just really love everything about Osaka. The vibes, the city, the people. Just, woo, it's it. It's it. Hontoni, hontoni chou tanoshi no Osaka te. I really recommend you guys go to Osaka. What was life like growing up Hafu? If you guys don't know, I am half American and half Japanese. Although I like to say, because my dad is half British and half Filipino, so I like to say I'm quarter British, quarter Filipino, and half Japanese because that sounds a little more interesting. Yeah, he grew up in America and you know, all that. So what was it like growing up Hafu? So I spent the first eight years of my school life in American school on the military bases here. It's very diverse over there, you know what I mean? Like there's like Koreans, there's Chinese, there's like Indians like so so diverse and so I never had problems with like racial stuff however after I transferred to Japanese school I had a bit of problems with my race it's kind of difficult to explain like so there are many mixed people on Okinawa so in the middle part of Okinawa that's where like Kadena Air Base is at and stuff so there are many many mixed people and I live in the middle part so I meet a lot of mixed people and Stuff. And so I didn't really have any problems when I went to the Japanese middle school However, I went to a high school in Itomang, which is the very south of Okinawa And there aren't many foreigners there, so I had a bit of problem And this was the first time I have ever experienced something like this So it was definitely really shocking to me They would be like, oh, she's American, so she's used to 
you know, doing it. Or like, she likes it when boys touch her because she's American. And I'm like, what? Hi. Hi. Do stop. Also. <laughs> um, anyway, I would ask them, like, why do you think that? And they would say, because in American TV shows and movies, they're always doing it. You know, those like stereotypes? Yeah. Yeah, so they would slap my ass or try to touch me and stuff like that, which was super shocking because we're literally like 15, 16. And I was away from my parents because the school was so far away, they had a dorm. And so I was living in the dorms and so, yeah, it was just so bad, you know, but I got over it and here I am. How many languages do you speak? Two. I only speak two languages, which is Japanese and English. I am learning Korean a bit, even though I kind of stopped. <laughs> I want to see all your pets together. Okay. I want to say hi to you. Hold up. This is Mick. He just woke up, so he is a sleepy head right now. <laughs> so that's Mick, my golden retriever. <laughs> and my kitties. This is my eldest cat. Shishamo. She has the most beautiful eyes. <laughs> Almost turning three in March. Next is my next eldest cat, Artemis. Artemis. He will be three in July. This is Gigi. <laughs> and she will be two in August. Yeah, August. She will be two in August. And my last cat. She was just a tiny baby. But this is Pua. She doesn't like being held. But yeah, those are all my cats. How's your work-life balance? I know Japan is notorious for working hours. Haha. <laughs> I would say it's okay. Like I work from 10 to 7, Mondays through Fridays. I get the weekends off and holidays off. So that's pretty good. I don't know. I, do, I don't really find it difficult, you know? Any tips for productivity? I have a hard time staying motivated. Me too. Okay, so I procrastinate a lot. I think you guys can tell because I haven't been making a lot of videos last year. But to stay motivated, I try to get up early in the morning and try to do chores so I can like feel like you know what I mean? And if it's studying, I used to buy like cute stationery so I can be motivated while studying because you know, I wanna study with cute stuff. You know what I mean? But like just life in general, I like to go out and explore and stuff to keep myself motivated to actually like work and stuff. <laughs> For me to be motivated to work, I take trips like every few months so I can like have something to look forward to, you know? If it's okay with you, where and when did you meet your boyfriend? I'm assuming you mean did. I met my boyfriend in high school. We both went to the same high school and I met him six years ago. So yeah, we've been together for six years. We didn't really have time to be like friends. We just like went straight into dating. And last one, what makes you the most happy? I have so many things that makes me happy. My tiny family, you know, with my pets, um, hanging out with my family, going on drives and finding new places. I love that so much. Spending my time at the beach. Those are just a few of the things that makes me really happy. Yeah! What makes you happy? Yeah! <laughs> so those were just some of the questions. Thank you guys so much for submitting your questions and I had a lot of fun answering them. I hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!